Greetings, dear friends. I present your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Citroen C3. The basic suspension isn't as strong as we would like, and the main problem is the springs. The French used very soft barrel springs in the front and rear suspensions, and they break off the extreme turns even with the runs up to 100,000. Moreover, after breaking the coil, the spring usually jumps off the support cup and the car falls and it's no longer able to move further. At the same time, it usually breaks the wiring to the ABS sensor and the brake line. Then the original springs come across very different quality, many quickly sink on brake again. The resource of the silent blocks of the front lever could be higher, but as long as the springs are of the correct height, they are nursing their 50-80,000 km. Also, the support of the front pillar is not the best design. The resource is small. Even the original might not have come out in hundreds of thousands, but the non-original generally less than 50. The resource of wheel bearings, too, by the standards of the sum compact class, is not outstanding. 150,000. The hubs do not like moisture and long downtime bumps and other troubles. Most modifications of the C3 have a rail with the EUR on the shaft. The mechanism is located in the engine compartment and not on the steering column, which complicate its maintenance. And the rail is not very tight and there is very little oil inside, so any damage to the anthers leads to corrosion of the stem and instant wear of the bushings. And the working stem is erased quickly. In general, watch out for backlash and wiring to the motor. The cars are strictly front-wheel drive, even the pseudo off-road version of the XDR. The resource of the drives and the CV joint is good. If you follow the condition of the covers, then they go almost forever. The BE4 series manual gearbox is not an example of outstanding reliability, but with engines up to 1.4 liters and in a light car, they serve for a long time. With 1.6 engines and with diesel engines, even a reinforced version can suffer from early bearing wear already in the thousands by 120-150. Although it's difficult to assert with certainty, since diesels have twisted mileage in almost 100% of cases. The main problem is oil leaks. Oil seals are not very successful and bearings do not leave long without oil. Wear of synchronizers with runs over 200,000 is a typical problem, as is light hauling in fifth gear. The gear selection mechanism is more troublesome. It sours itself and the drive cable is wedged. When buying, do not be lazy to turn on all the gears. If the fifth doesn't turn on, then the cables for replacement. We have very few cars with automatic transmission of the AL4 series. It gets along well with the 1.4 engine, although the engine is constantly twisted so the consumption is too large. The resource of the box itself depends mainly on the care and temperature condition. It's very sensitive to the purity of the oil and temperature. The sensor drive robotic box is much more common. It's a typical robot with one clutch in its first form, with mechanical clutch and gear fished drive. A very raw version of it was put on the car and adjusted during the production process. As a result, there are approximately 8 in incompatible options for the control unit and other components. Typical problems with runs over 100-150,000 km are increased wear of clutches, gears and the clutch drive motor, as well as failures of the gear selection mechanism and control electronics. The mechanism itself is not too complicated. It's quite amenable to repair, but the diagnosis is extremely problematic. Just having a Lexio scanner used to diagnose PCA models on band, there is little you can do. The control unit can generate a bunch of errors due to firmware failures and drive power problems. As long as it is in good working order, you can put up with prolonged switchings and the illogically of switchings. On a light car and even not in full load, it's not scary. But any problems make the movement completely uncomfortable. Moreover, in case of serious errors, the robot's control unit will not allow the motor to start. Therefore, in case of problems, this box is often converted into an ordinary manual gearbox since it's based on the same BE4 as in the case of mechanics. In Russia, the model is presented mainly with two versions of the 1.4 engine in 8 and 16 well versions. In second place in popularity is the version with a 1.6 gasoline engine. Cars with engines 1.1 and even more so diesel are rare in the country. The layout of the engine compartment is tight enough that even small motors can hardly fit. 
16 value engines, either diesel or gasoline, are already hard to maintain. The relatively small area on the radiators make it necessary to carefully monitor their cleanliness, especially in cars with air conditioning. The service life of the hoses of the crankcase ventilation system on cars before styling is usually already exhausted. You need to check their condition. If you see the engine compartment sparkling with cleanness, refuse to buy. It cannot be washed. The BSM unit is located here, which doesn't like moisture very much, and any cleaning can end in failure. So if the motors are leaking, it's better to clean them with special compounds, and only from the timing belt can steam be cleaned. The service life of the engine mounts on all modifications is short, so try to feel the vibrations and check the rubber bands for cracks. The somewhat paranoid control system of gasoline engines is ready to issue an anti-pollution fault in cause of any failures with the control system, which doesn't add joy to the owners and usually requires frequent use of a diagnostic scanner and FAP program to understand what is wrong with the engine this time. More often, the errors are insignificant, it's enough to drop them and not think about them for another tens of thousands of kilometers. And in the absence of a scanner, you will have to put up with a slightly increased fuel consumption and a decrease in dynamics. The main motor for the C3 is an A12 1.4 2U3A 2U3JP. It is a simple and reliable engine with a cast iron block, timing belt and multi-point injection. Copies that have passed 300 plus thousand without overhaul are not at all uncommon, but on the Russian market the runs are usually reeled off, so you usually will not see terrible numbers on the odometers. The condition is highly dependent on the care of the control system. Dirty injectors, air legs and old ignition module can old wires seriously harm the operation of the engine and affect the resource. Serious wear of the piston group is usually observed only with 250 plus mileage and very poor maintenance. And even in this case it's okay, the choice of used units is still very wide. The 16 bell version of the 1.4 ET 3J4 series engine and the 1.6 2U 5JP4 engine, which is structurally similar to it, differ from each other minimally. But ET3 also has an intake shaft phase regulator and associated changes in the design of the camshaft and cylinder head. In general, these are also very strong engines with a resource of 300 plus, but they are more powerful, more complex under the hood of small Citroën, are more prone to overheating. The ignition module is more expensive and more malfunctioning, the crankcase ventilation system is more stressed, and the timing is predictably more complex. Engine moments were a lot faster. However, the increase in complexity pays off with increased power and dynamics, with the same fuel consumption and with 1.6 engine, a light car feels almost like a lighter. In Europe, Citroën C3 is popular with diesel engines, but here they are represented by single copies. Less than 2% of the population, 1.4 diesel engines are DV4 series and 1.6 diesel engines are DV6. The lowest power adoptions are 68 horsepower DV4 TD 812 motors. They were installed from the beginning to the end of production, slightly modernizing them in 2005. The more powerful 16 valve DV4 TED4 90 horsepower after restyling was replaced with a slightly deformed versions with the DV6 A TED4 index. All engine options after restyling with the particular filter fuel equipment for 8 valve 14.4 Bosch, 16 valve 1.4 and 1.6 Delphi and the latter is considered more expensive to maintain. All engines have a very bad fuel filter layout and a very tight layout in the engine compartment. The 1.6 engines have problems with injector seals, cylinder liner corrosion and the fuel equipment is more delicate than the 1.4 and the turbine is more expensive. But it is with a 1.6 diesel engine that Citroën has, C3 has the best dynamics, especially since the engine is relatively painlessly forced from the base 109 forces to 160 and above. On this information about the problems of Citroën C3 is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.